Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 8 of S Frank Usume. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, that didn't sound good. Sweet Thanksgiving to- oh my- oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just finished watching Jujutsu Kaisen and- <laughs> uh, we're like, mm, Angie sent you possibly. <laughs> or, you yeah, talk to Angie. <laughs> with more practice. Can't always be afraid. Ha <laughs> ha. 
It's harder to do things. I get that. Are you looking from the girl from the beginning of the episode, possibly? Well, yes. But I think you're not bad. You seem really nice. I figured it would be the girl in the beginning. <clears throat>
Wouldn't there be like a force field or something to indicate? Oh. Well, I think that's our biggest clue right there. <laughs> oh probably but not as much as you miss <laughs> yeah that's a good idea Never mind. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> We went from being lonely and missing dad to, yes, we got to find a wife for dad. <laughs> right? Yeah, let's see. Double-edged sword. You want someone who almost looks like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, God.
Hmm? Did y'all date? <laughs> nah, they're just really good friends and teammates. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Aww. The details on the freaking lettuce slash cabbage, I mean, oh, look like a damn brain. <laughs> And stop it. Oh my god. You can't literally look at every woman in this show and be like, yeah, you might be a good fit for my dad. Yeah. In his own special way, he probably does. Talk about whatever's on your mind with him. He might give you good advice. There you go. That's a start. Is that her? It is. <laughs> How you know that? <laughs> you hungry? Girl! <laughs> but it does make you wonder when her last meal was, so I got it.
There she goes. Right? You can't always be pushy around people, especially women. Mm hmm. And then whoever has like the most attraction and chemistry with your dad, then boom. <laughs> it's okay. She'll never learn. Oh, come. Uh, well, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay. Okay. It's not the worst cliffhanger, but still. Now, let's say Anne's dad, like, Bell comes down to visit her. Like, literally, every girl, every woman who is somewhat close to his age, because he said, mind you, mind you, he said it was 40. So anybody who is like 30 to maybe like mid 40, early 40, whatever. So like 40, 41, maybe 42 at the latest. Because who knows? Um, she is going to be like, oh my God, how how would you feel marrying this 40-year-old fan right here? He looks good, right? Like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I can't. I cannot imagine her <laughs> saying that to a woman and be like, what? <laughs> Help her. <laughs> Truly help her. You gotta love her though. Cause she want, I mean, I get it. Cause she wants to have a mother figure in her life because she only has her dad. And then she also wants her dad to be happy with someone else besides her. Even though she's secretly jealous and she wants all of her dad's word attention towards herself, but still it would be nice for her to have a mom figure in her life. I mean, in a way she kind of does with all the other women that she's met in her life, but I'm guessing she wants someone very similar to her dad. But then like the, okay, the first girl who she talked to, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you want someone who similarly 100% looks like you and stuff? Okay, I get that because I mean, you have black hair, your dad has red hair, so you want to get someone who has like the same color hair as you and who, who knows? I mean, yeah, you could have something like, you know, psh, Lloyd, Anya, <laughs> your, but who knows? I mean, you never know. You never freaking know. But that ending, I wonder how that's going to go. Of course, she's going to try to be like, what are you guys planning? Stopping it. And then also trying to get more time, uh, screen time with her dad or matchmaking time with her dad now with the elf situation in this episode that was also interesting as well i didn't think we were going to see an elf today but hey you know whatever floats your boat but now one but two and they're both a part of the same family so that was very interesting i mean you know the the girl she's in her badass rebellion phase we've all had that phase where we don't really want to hear anything from our parents or aunts, uncles, whatever, and stuff, and she's just rebelling. That's the normal teenage thing thing to do. And she wants to go out and, you know, have an adventure, but, you know, here comes Grand Uncle coming down to stop her. And, and it was just really cute. It would have been even funnier if her dad had, you know, came along with him and, like, you know, stirring cold, like, you can't do this, and yada, 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 and, and whatever, and then just took her home. <laughs> But maybe next time. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 8 of s Rank Usume. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course. I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys.